Now I want to talk about the general lines of treatment of infective corneal ulcers. First, we need to identify the agent, so we can make stain of a material collected from the base of the ulcer. We use a fine needle to collect some of the material at the base near the edge and stain it directly, or we can culture it and see the sensitivity of the organism to the different antimicrobial agents. The treatment of an ulcer in general can be in the form of atropine bandage and antimicrobial. Atropine helps relieve the pain. Pain comes out of spasm of the sphincter papillae muscle and the ciliary muscle, which is abolished by atropine. Also, dilatation of the pupil helps preventing posiocynechia. And instead of atropine, we can use short-acting cycloplegics like cyclopentolate and keep in mind atropine drops are contraindicated in children because of toxicity so in children we can use atropine ointment bandage help healing of the epithelium but bandage is contraindicated if there is discharge antimicrobial can be in the form of fortified eye drops or aminoglycosides topical drops we can add also vitamin A, vitamin C orally to vitamin A for healthy epithelium, vitamin C for stromal healing. If we give the treatment and there is no response, then we can add by injecting subconjunctival antibiotics. We can check the lacrimal sac if there is source of infection there. Then we can do the technique of conjunctivoplasty. In conjunctivoplasty, we dissect the nearby conjunctiva we pull it and suture it to the cornea. It, this will bring blood vessels here over the area of the ulcer with more defense mechanisms reaching. On the following days, the elastic conjunctiva will return back to its original position, except for this location. Actual adhesions will occur here bec between the rough undersurface of the conjunctiva and the ulcer base. This will form a pseudotrigium. Here are the section of the conjunctival, and then it is sutured to cover part or the whole cornea, depending on the extent of the ulcer. Sometimes there is no response, then we can do keratoplasty. In keratoplasty, we take the cornea with all its infections out, and even we can wash the anterior chamber if there is hypopion in the AC. Then we put a new cornea. Therapeutic because the goal is to clear up infection, but doing keratoplasty at the time of inflammation, there is a very high risk of getting into graft rejection. So our goal here is mainly to get rid of the infection, and if there is graft rejection, we can do keratoplasty another one later. But if the patient is lucky enough, the graft is not rejected, then this keratoplasty can be termed therapeutic and optical at the same time. This can be will be covered later when we talk about keratoplasty. Thank you.